Welcome back to you all. Today we will look at something a little bit different. A number of you have asked about colour blindness testing and in particular why some training centres are carrying out this sort of testing when you take up a training course with them. So what are colour blindness tests? Well first of all we need to know that everyone's eyes are slightly different to everybody else's. The back of the eye is made up of millions of tiny colour receptors that interpret the colours in the light that enters the eye. In most eyes, the ability to separate the colours is fairly consistent, but in a very small percentage, certain frequencies of light are not easily distinguished by all the sensors. Some groups of sensors cannot accurately make a distinction between certain colours. In some people, it is very insignificant, hardly noticeable, but in others, it can be quite a worrying issue. In 40 years of working in this industry, I have only ever once come across a person who was totally colourblind. Most sufferers have no idea they have a problem, and indeed, it isn't a problem. The test itself is composed of a series of coloured images, usually dots of varying size, colour and hue. And these are arranged in such a manner that problem colours will appear next to each other. The different colours will be placed so that they make up, say, a number three to a normal eye. But because some of the problem colours are mixed into the number three, a small percentage of people will see it as a number eight or a number one may be interpreted as a number seven, and so on. We have these tests because certain trades and occupations will depend on the employees being able to distinguish accurately and repeatedly a whole range of colours on items or products. We are electricians and it matters that we can determine the colours of cables accurately every time. Failure to be able to do this could result in serious injury or death to a person, or it could be the cause of a fire in a building. You might hope that the airline pilot taking you to your sunny summer holiday can interpret the colours of the cockpit lights correctly. Are the wheels up or down, or which colour turns the engines off at 30,000 feet? The examples that we show you here are from genuine test page samples that we ourselves have taken in the past, but they are shown here as just for fun. They are being used to help you appreciate the reasons for the tests and to illustrate the type of images that you may be shown. We make no interpretation of what you may see and indeed not seeing a certain image correctly may not imply colour blindness. That could only be determined by taking a test under controlled conditions with someone that knows how to interpret the results. So have fun, that is the important aim. Each test will usually comprise of a disc of coloured dots, as we have said. On some tests, you'll be asked to write down or say the number that you can see. You will normally be given three to five seconds to decide on your answer. So, the number shown here is a fairly easy one, number 12. And this one will give you five seconds. This is the number 8. Now try this one. A little more difficult, this is the number 29. Try this one now. Number five. And next. This is the number 15. And this one is a little bit trickier. You should have the number 74 for this one. And more difficult again. Hopefully 
you saw the number 45. Let's try a different background colour. Number 26 was this one. And finally, this one. And you should pick out the number 42. On some tests, there is no number shown and the examiner is expecting you to say no number. Please don't guess if you cannot see a number as no number might actually be the correct answer. With some pictures, you will be asked to trace a path through the image, either with a pencil or using your finger. In these next images, the path runs between the two arrows from left to right. And can you pick out this one? And we show the correct path here. Or there might be two paths. Can you find both of them again left to right? And here they are, shown here. Finally, a single path, but a little more difficult. Hopefully, you found this path as shown here. So, we hope you enjoyed that little fun test. Don't be alarmed if you missed one or two. Some were difficult to spot and we did put you under a bit of time pressure as well. The quality of your computer screen and the ambient light can also affect how you interpret the images, which is why the proper tests are carried out under controlled conditions. If you do have a problem, then you will be told the category or level number of your colour blindness. There are many levels of deficiency and many trades will tolerate a certain level especially in non-critical occupations. As we said at the beginning, this video should be treated as a simple explanation of what to expect in a test and is presented here as just for fun. There are many online colour blindness tests available that provide an analysis of the results and include an industry rated assessment of the level, if any, of a person's colour blindness. The tests shown here are from the Ishihara set of images in which there are many more plates to look at. If you found this video useful, you may want to look at the sister article to it and it can be viewed on our website at www.learnelectrics.com. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the subscribe button and the like button below. It does help us and we do appreciate that small act. It makes everything worthwhile. Clicking subscribe also means that you won't miss our next weekly video. You can also find us by typing in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar and of course on our website at www www.learnelectrics.com Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you again very soon.